Good morning! <laughs> Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I thought that we would talk about colour and more specifically adding colour to your wardrobe especially if you're someone like me who tends to lean on more of those I would say classic neutrals, black, white and grey, without too much differentiation in between. Today's video is also in partnership with Lily Silk and their new brand Lalaras, which is a sleepwear brand. And I'm actually wearing a pair of pyjamas from Lalaras right now. Um, I will give you a better look at them, but they're a navy silk. Oh, they just feel so divine and very, very luxurious. So I thought before I kind of talked about I suppose the clothing aspect of adding colour into your wardrobe, I would start with beauty because for me that's generally the starting point in terms of when I'm getting ready for the day. So while I've usually got an idea in my head of what I'm going to wear, at least maybe the colours I'm going to wear, makeup is generally my starting point. So I need to make sure what I'm putting on my face is relatively reflective of that. So there's a few different ways that you can add in colour through beauty and I would say probably the first one would be in your eyes. Um, actually, hang on, let me just put my coffee down. <laughs> I don't stray too far from this but clearly you can see there's a little bit of colour in there, especially this pretty brick red brown here. So that's actually what I have got on my eyes. So I already had a bit of a head start here. I've done my eye makeup just so I thought it might be a little bit easier. So that's one way you can add in colour through your eyeshadow. So you could go for a really bold, bright blue. I don't know why I've got this idea of a teal in my head right now. Okay, I'm, I'm actually just going to quickly warm up my face. I actually have another Fenty product here. This is just their cream bronzer. I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks. Um, so I would say kind of the next way that you can add a little bit of colour onto your face, which I don't really hear people talk about too much, is through blusher. So you could use sort of more of a pink neutral tone blusher, something that's a bit more cool toned, you could go for something a bit more warm tone, and that's actually going to uh, also affect how your clothing looks on you. So I've got a couple of examples here. First one I have here is this uh, Clarins Twist to Glow blush which is a warm toned orange peach. Now I'm planning on wearing more of a neutral to cool toned coloured top today so I know if I wear this it's really just not going to match with what I'm wearing. So the other option I have here is more of a neutral to cool toned pink uh, so I'm going to put that on because I know it'll work with my outfit. Uh, so then Aside from blush, kind of the third way that you can add in a little bit of colour through your makeup is with your lip choice. And I would say kind of the one that is most commonly suggested would be to add a bold red lip. Now I'm not going to do that today just because I think it's going to be competing a little bit too much with what else I'm going to be wearing. But you could go for something like that which is just your classic red. You could also wear kind of a pinky colour. I'm just going to go with this, uh, it's kind of a balmy it's just going to add some extra depth and shine. Alright, so probably I would say the other way that you could add in a little bit of colour from a beauty perspective would be to have a colourful hair tie. Okay, I didn't actually think I'd have any behind me, but I do. So you could wear something like this, just a really simple little scrunchie in your hair, whether you're doing a half up, half down look, you've got a, your hair in a bun. So if I was wearing my hair in a bun today, I'd probably just add on one of these for a little bit of extra colour. Okay. Let me show you these pyjamas and then I'm going to change and I'm going to talk through some ways that you can easily and effortlessly add some colour into your outfits and I'm actually going to talk a bit more about Lily Silk and Lala Rasen as well. So let's talk through my first tip when it comes to adding some colour into your wardrobe, especially if you're a bit colour reverse, and it is to start with your sleepwear. So I think navy actually in particular is a really easy option if you're just starting to delve into colour because it is quite dark. Um, it's actually a really good choice if you're someone with very fair skin and you find black doesn't work for you. Navy has a lot less contrast. So obviously I've got on my silk pyjamas here from Lalaras, and these are a washable silk, which means that they're going to continue to look as beautiful as they do when you pull them out of the packaging which I love because I think a lot of us associate silk with being really high maintenance. Now the silk that Lala Russ have used for this sleepwear is mulberry silk and it's grade 6A so it's extremely high quality and it just feels so luxurious on the skin. Um, I just it has it has that very typical silky feel to it. I don't really know how else to explain it or to describe it but I feel incredibly comfortable in these. Now silk is one of my 
favorite fabrics because it looks and feels luxurious but also it's hypoallergenic and it's also mold and dust resistant so if you're someone who is allergic to dust mites then wearing silk pajamas or having silk bedding would be a really fantastic option for you and it's something that my husband struggles with and i have been tossing up the idea of maybe getting some silk sheets for our bed because i think that might help with his allergies i do have a discount code for lalaras for 10 percent off and i'm gonna have that on screen here and also linked down in the description box below if you'd like to go and check out their sleepwear. These pajamas come in quite a few different colors. There was a really beautiful rich burgundy color as well. Um, a lot of those pretty jewel tones which yeah I think as I said before if you are just starting to add color into your wardrobe sleepwear might be a really great place to start if you don't want to mix up your makeup look. Okay, so here you can see the pajamas in all their glory and these to me are kind of the perfect granddad style pajama. So I don't know if you could see before just how beautiful the buttons are. They are this pearlescent finish and I just think that makes them look and feel so much more expensive. They also have this really beautiful white piped trim detail along the neckline, down the placket, on the cuffs and then also on the hem of the trousers and in terms of the fit so I had these on in the size small and they're a really lovely relaxed fit I don't feel constricted or restrained in any way uh, the shoulders nothing feels too big and you kind of see the sh uh, sleeve length finishes at the perfect point just at my wrist and then you've got a bit more length through the leg which I always like in pajamas because it makes them feel nice and cozy. They have an elasticated waistband so you can probably see there's just a little bit of give there but they feel very nice and secure around my waist so yeah that is a look at the pajamas. The pricing of the pajamas starts at $95 and there is free shipping worldwide. Now I'm going to show you a couple of the new tops that I've got from Lily Silk and also share some more tips on adding color in terms of your day today outfits okay so the first top I want to talk about from the loose silk is this beautiful silk knitted top and these are kind of some of my favorite pieces that I have from the brand I've got some other ones tucked away in my closet and they're just really beautiful and again they they launder really really well actually um, I have washed them quite a few times they come out looking like new I would recommend just putting them in a delicates bag because being silk you want to make sure that you are caring for it properly and I have a whole video on garment care I'm gonna link it up in the cards if you would like to go and have a watch so in terms of adding color to your wardrobe my first tip uh, for an outfits perspective would be to start with lighter neutrals. So this is a really pretty, hopefully you can see it's just a light beige. So it doesn't feel too scary, doesn't feel intimidating because it's not too far from white or cream. Uh, and if you've got those sorts of colors in your wardrobe already, you're going to find it very effortless to add in a color or a tone like this to your wardrobe. Now in terms of sizing on this top, I'm wearing it in the medium just because I want it to be a relaxed fit. I was thinking a little bit about how I want to wear silk at home and I'm generally wearing quite casual outfits. Uh, if you're working in more of an office environment, you might want to just stick with your usual size so that it has a little bit more of a fitted look to it. But this is a great item in terms of doing double duty for both the weekend and for work. So I'm just going to tuck it in, which is how I would typically wear something like this so you can get a better sense of the fit. But this just feels so incredibly nice on the skin. It has that silky knit feel to it, which uh, is very, very comfortable, not itchy at all. Just like with their sleepwear brand, La Russ, Lily Silk also uses grade 6A Mulberry Silk, which is such high quality and it has really long fibers. And because of that, it means that your items are going to be longer lasting. So they're high quality and more durable. I just wanna come up close so that you can get a really good look at the material and you can just see how beautiful lightweight it is and the lovely drape to the fabric. Uh, it's not sheer either. I mean, I am wearing a skin colored bra underneath, but you can't see through it all at the front or the back. Yeah, as I said, I think light colored neutrals are a really good way to start when it comes to adding in some color to your wardrobe. Now with navy, I also have this really beautiful navy silk shirt from Lily Silk, which I've had for a couple of years now. This is in the wash silk, so it's not a silk knit, just so you can get a sense of the texture 
and the fabric up close. Again, another one that you can easily wander. And I love how effortless these pieces are to look after. I mean, especially as a mum, it makes my life a lot easier. So my next tip, again, relates to the actual colours that you're choosing, and it's to opt for earthy tones. So once you've got those light neutrals, or you've added a little bit of navy into your wardrobe, you might like to experiment and explore a little bit further. And this is definitely the stage that I'm at with my own wardrobe. I'm adding a lot more earthy neutrals into my closet, and I'm finding that really brings brings my complexion to life. I feel like it's made me excited about the items I have in my wardrobe because things can start to feel a little bit stale when you're wearing just black, white and grey <laughs> um, and maybe adding on the odd little pop of red on your lips. Um, so this tank here is again another piece from Lily Silk. It's a high neck silk tank, has a zip closure at the back uh, and then this sort of racer style sleeves. I actually have this in the grey as well. Hang on. I just pull it out of my closet. I really, really love this. It looks great with high-waisted skirts and shorts. And this is in the wash silk. Uh, it's slightly lighter weight wash silk than the notch collar blouse if you own this in terms of comparison. But again, these wear really well and they're a great option for the summertime. So as I mentioned earlier, with silk being a natural fiber, it is breathable. So it's going to keep you warmer when it is cold and then it's also going to keep you relatively cool when it is hot. So these earthy tones, I think the reason why they are so easy to sort of start adding into your wardrobe when you're experimenting with color is because they're reflected in nature. So you're kind of drawing on those colors that surround us every single day and bringing them into what you wear, which I think is a really natural way to start exploring color palettes. Um, so yeah, this sort of dark green color is something that I would imagine seeing in kind of, I suppose, more of a forest landscape. We actually have a lot of trees in the front of our house and I'm pretty sure I would see this sort of a tone out there. So I think earth tones are a great place to start if you are beyond that light neutral phase in your closet. Now before I move on to my next tip, I did just want to mention that I also have a discount code for Lily Silk for 15% off your order. So I'm going to have that on screen and also I'll have the details for that down in the description box below. Um, but as I've mentioned before, not just in this video, but previously, the quality of Lily Silk pieces is just really incredible, exceptional for the price that you're paying. And I think that discount definitely makes it a little bit sweeter. Oh, and I forgot to mention the size I'm wearing on this tank. I have it in size small and would say definitely fits true to size for a relaxed fit as you can see on me. Uh, I'm an AUA or a US4 for reference. Okay, so next tip would be to ground the color that you're adding into your wardrobe with neutrals. So I've got this top on with these faded black jeans. I could also wear it with a pair of cream colored jeans. To me, that is a very simple way to start implementing that uh, desire to add color into your closet. And it doesn't feel scary or intimidating. It kind of allows that color to be the focal point or I suppose the key piece in your outfit. Um, and I know when it comes to me putting together my outfits, I'm usually thinking about having that one focal piece and then everything else is just complementary. So that also comes down to the shoes that I'm wearing as well and also the bag that I decide to pair with my look. The same thing would be true if you're also wanting to wear a really bright knit. I actually took a photo of myself years ago in a fitting room and I loved this outfit. I was wearing a bright red sweater with a white mini skirt and then just some very neutral colored shoes. I'm gonna pop a picture of that on screen so you can see how it looks. Uh, while I'm not someone who would generally wear something that bright, I felt like this was a very approachable way for me to wear color and I absolutely love that outfit. I'm still regretting not purchasing that sweater to be completely honest. Um, okay, so the next way to add color would be through print and I think that this is another place where it can feel a little bit intimidating. One, because prints are quite loud generally uh, unless you're going for a really classic option so there's something that is again it's going to be the focal point you really want to keep everything else quite simple and 
and pared back. But I think it's also harder to feel like you're maintaining a consistent color palette when you are adding print into your wardrobe. So I want to show you a really good example of how to add print into your wardrobe while still keeping up that color palette. Are you just diving into my closet behind me as it's a really easy way to do so. So I recently purchased this blouse here and you can see it is a printed piece on a neutral colored background so that's the first tip is to opt for something that has a neutral colored background so that it easily works with the things you have in your wardrobe then again I've gone for earthy tones so those colors which are reflected in nature this is very kind of autumnal in terms of the colors that have been used on this particular top uh, and just look for colors that are reflected in what you already have in your existing wardrobe so before I decided to purchase this piece I had already built my wardrobe up to a point where I had introduced color so I wasn't going from having gray white and black to having a full-on printed piece I had started to add in those earthy tones and then I felt like I was fine Finally ready to add something that was a little bit more powerful and playful and fun so that is kind of the way that I would recommend doing that and again just pairing this back with base neutrals so whether it would be a plain pair of black jeans whether it's white jeans you could even do blue but I do find blue on its own can be a little bit more of a challenging option to pair with color uh, also my next tip would be to go monochrome so I do this a lot and I think that it is one a really really easy styling trick to feel and look effortless and chic in what you're wearing so going head to toe in kind of one color and a bit more of a tonal look I think it works really well I'm gonna put some examples on screen of how to do this with color I think with gem tones in particular especially in the colder months it is just very very striking and I think a really powerful look without feeling overwhelming on the body so obviously when you're wearing an outfit you want to be wearing the clothes you don't want the clothes to be wearing you I think when you're just starting out with color it's probably something that you're thinking about a lot my next tip is to stick to the three color rule I have an entire blog post on this if you want to read a little bit more about it I'm gonna link it down in the description box below but essentially what this is is limiting your color palette and what you're wearing to three colors so for example right now I've got the green I've got black jeans so I could add in one other color possibly a beige tone colored shoe I have these beige two-tone pumps I'm gonna put a picture of them on the screen you all will know them because I wear them a lot I think that would be a way that I could easily sort of uh, add an extra color into the outfit it means that if I was gonna wear anything else I'd want it to be in one of those three colors so I'd probably want to wear a black cardigan over the top or a black jacket just to make sure that I am sticking to that three color rule the reason being that when you add in more colors to your outfit it can feel a little bit confused you can feel like there is way too much going on your eyes do not know where to look and it can start to feel like there's no cohesion there with what you're wearing so for that reason three colors it's chic it's going to be a really simple way for you to put together a color palette for an outfit because you can easily see whether things are going to go together as opposed to laying out a whole bunch of different pieces uh, and I would say that for this your lip color if you're going for a bold red lip that's going to count and if you're going for really bright colored jewelry again that is going to be something that I would count as one of those three colors of my outfit the final tip I wanted to mention was to stick to one undertone when it comes to putting together an outfit and this can be a little bit more of a tricky one to kind of wrap your head around and I would recommend taking a look at the color wheel if you are not sure but essentially you have warm toned colors and cool toned colors you do have some in the middle which are more neutral but I would say most items that we're adding to our closet are going to sort of veer in one direction or the other. Now I'm sure you've had this experience where you've gone into the change room, you've tried something on and it's in a color that you absolutely love, but you just feel like it doesn't look right on you. Or you've heard people say, orange is not my color. And it's not that it's not their color, it's that they haven't found the right undertone that really works with their complexion so for example I actually have olive toned skin so it has a little bit of a green undertone to it in the light uh, and I find depending on whether I'm quite pale in the winter or whether I'm quite 
bronze in the summer if I've had a chance to go out in the sun and get a little bit of vitamin D uh, that my complexion looks very very different and that different undertones look better on me at different times of year so I try to be mindful of that when I'm adding things into my wardrobe and building up that color palette so if you are someone who can wear both warm and cool colors the other thing I would say is to just be mindful of not mixing the two in an outfit because again it won't look cohesive it'll look a bit confusing used uh, because the two undertones are sort of competing and they're not really balanced and for me that's definitely something that I'm trying to add into my all of my outfits it is balance so yeah that is the final thing I wanted to mention and if I can find some really good resources on understanding uh, warm and cool tones or undertone I will make sure to link them down in the description box below but I hope that you found this useful especially if you're someone like me who is trying to slowly kind of increase the amount of color that they've got in their wardrobe. I uh, thank you so much to Lily Silk and to Lala Russ for partnering with me on this. As I mentioned, I have discount codes for both, 15% off at Lily Silk and 10% off at Lala Russ. So I'm gonna have all of those details down in the description box below, along with links to all of the items that I mentioned today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon, bye.